Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Wow, so good to be here this morning, yet another morning, Friday morning, final morning of this week. In our 30 days week of week of prayer, 30 days of prayer rather. We're so happy to have you yet another morning to drink from the cistern. Wow. We are here to be refreshed, be revived, revitalized, re-energized spiritually. We are here to share. We are here to, to petition God's throne room. Wow. It has been a wonderful journey these uh, past morning just to interact with each other, just to share just to hear the testimonies, oh Lord, indeed we are strengthened, we are strengthened day by day. This morning to lead out in our morning's devotion is the newest district, the newest district in the Northeast Jamaica Conference. That's the Huntstown District led by Pastor and Andre Dixon and the team, they are the one leading out this morning. We give God thanks for, for, for them. And so without any further ado this morning, we are going to turn over to the one who is in charge of sharing with us the opening hymn, and that is Brother Aaron. Brother Aaron, please open your mic at this time and share with us the opening hymn. So that morning, everyone, the opening hymn is Come Christians, Join to Sing, hymn number 10. Come Christians, join to sing, hallelujah, loud in Christ our King. Hallelujah. Let always our voice be for you to Praise his gracious joys. Hallelujah. It's all now. How fill the sky. How is Lord and friends to see he is the shining Praise be to Christ again. Hallelujah. Love shall not ever stray. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Come, Amen. Amen. Christian, join to sing. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you, Brother Aaron and family for sharing with us the, the hope in him. At this time, to take us to the throne room of grace, we have our sisters, Elder Durant, Elder Durant, to pray the opening prayer on our behalf. Brother Walker, hello. Uh, Elder Walker, Elder Walker to pray. Elder Walker from the Cox Peace Church to pray. Our brother Walker. He's not on pastor. He was having some internet trouble, so let me let me go ahead and pray. Gracious God and our Father, we thank you for what you have done, what you will do, and what you are doing. We pray, mighty God, that as we worship you this morning, that you will bring us divinely close to you, and that our hearts will be wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in your love. Bless us again, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Several times each day, precious golden moments should be spent, consecrated to prayer and the study of the scriptures. If it's only to commit a text to memory, the prophetess of God says, that spiritual life may exist in the soul. The varied interest of the cause furnish us with food for reflection and inspiration for our prayers. Communion with God is highly essential for spiritual health. And here only may be obtained that wisdom and correct judgment so necessary in the performance of every duty. <clears throat> and so we are going into our first season of prayer, our first prayer session, where we will be taken one more time to the throne of grace by Elder Durant and Elder Durant and Elder Bailey will be taking us to the throne of grace at this time. And so I invite you to get in that attitude of prayer. Tune your hearts heavenward as we as we, we petition God's throne room. Shall we pray? Sister Bailey and Ella McCoy, preacher. Go ahead, Sister Bailey or Brother McCoy. Okay. Almighty God and our Heavenly Father. We are so grateful to you for sparing our life to see another day. 
We thank you, O oh God, that you have protected us during the course of the night and this morning we are alive in our right mind. We thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you for all that you will do for us. And this morning we just want to say to you a big thank you for everything that you have done for us. Oh God, we realize that our life without you is nothing. We realize that if it is not you, then our whole life would be in misery. So Father, we just extend to you one more time. Thank you. We thank you for the forgiveness of sin. And we ask that you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This morning, we put before you every person that is in the Northeast Jamaica Conference. We ask, oh God, that we'll see you high and lifted up and that our life will surrender fully to you. We ask, oh God, that you will be with this school administration, that they will see you high and lifted up. And as they mold the mind of young people, they too will be joined closer to you. Have your own sweet way with us this morning. And we ask that you will help us to live for you so that when you burst the eastern sky, we'll be a part of that number. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just say, Helis, go ahead. Is it my Ellis or um, Ellis or Bailey? Bailey Ellis. Bailey Ellis. Okay. All right. Let us pray. Great God and our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your love towards humanity. You love us with an everlasting love. And that is why you sent your son your only son to die in our stead. And so this morning, Lord, we pray that you will unite us as a conference, churches all around. We ask, Lord, that you will create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew the right spirit within us. You have given us a mandate, Lord, and we ask that you'll give us strength to carry out this mandate, especially in this time when we are living with the text. And this gospel must be preaching all the world for a witness. And then shall the end come. So here we are at this 30 days of fasting, Lord, because we need you to, to power us up so that we can work for you, knowing that the time is short. So we ask, Lord, that as we go into this service, that your sweet Holy Spirit will continue to lead and direct us on a daily basis. Oh, Father, we ask that you will help us to be more and more like you. Help us to allow the things of earth to grow strangely dim and help us to keep a steady gaze at heaven. Until then, Lord, keep us faithful, keep us true, and continue to lead and direct our lives, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Sister McCoy. Amen. Sister Helis for praying and interceding on our behalf this morning. Yes, it is another time to hear another word from God. Man. 
At least I will have the introduction of the speaker. Isn't God wonderful to present the words to us this morning? Is a young man vibrant? He is all the way from Bonnie Gate, a family man. Not only that, but if you need an electrician, then you just call him up. God has called this man on a mission. He has given him a commission mm. to go to the world in deep contrition and mm. to rescue the lost from their sinful condition. Yeah. My friends, those online who have not yet made your decision. Come on. Please make your decision. Don't wait until the great physician burst mm. the clouds. I present right. to you Elder Andel Gordon. But before he comes, we will be favored with a special. He left the splendor of heaven knowing his destiny it was a lonely hills of Golgotha there to lay down his life for me if that is The ocean is dry. There's no stars in the sky. And the sparrow won't fly. If that isn't love, then even the me. There's no feeling like this If that is a love Even in that He remember The teeth hanging by his side As he spoke with love and compassion then he remind him of paradise if that isn't love the ocean is dry there's no stars in the sky and the sparrow won't fly if that isn't love. Then heaven's a myth. There's no feelings like this. If that isn't love. There's no feeling like this If that isn't love Amen 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 Amen
Good morning, fellow Hellers and pastor, Unstone, the Unstone District of Churches. It gives me the pleasure this morning to share with you in this, in this service, the 30 days of fasting. This morning I want to share with us the, the word of God from a book of Ezekiel where the Lord is calling unto us to do something. And my topic this morning is, why are you crying? Let us bow our heads as we pray. Loving Father and our God who art in heaven, as we hope in your words this morning to present to your people, Maxine, you know, Lord, that you will give me words directly from your throne. Bless your people and help us to be faithful and to lift up your name and to spread your gospel throughout the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the book of Ezekiel, there was a time when the, the people of God was doing abominable things. People were serving idols. People were mourning for different, different things. This morning I asked a question, what are you crying for? Is it because of the loss of a loved one? Is it because that you, your, your mortgage, it's coming up and it's not yet paid. But this morning, there's a call for us that the Lord is asking us to do. Coming over from the book, from the, the chapter eight to nine of Ezekiel. Here Ezekiel is saying, and he cried also in my ears with a loud voice saying, cause them that which have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the high gates, which lied towards the north, and every man a slaughtered weapon in his hand, and a man among them that was clothed with linen and, and white and writers in corn by his side. And they went in and stood before the bronze altar. And the glory of the God of Israel were gone from the, the cherubim whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and called to the men clothed in linen which had the writers in corn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the, the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination of by be done in the midst thereof. Here, God is the abominable thing that was happening in Israel. God has called his men. And he said that they should come because things are happening. So he sent them out. He said to the man with the writer's incarn, go and make a mark on those who cry and sigh for the abomination of the things that are happening. This morning, the question is asked, what are we doing? Are we going about just as business as usual? Are we crying and sighing for the abomination of the things that are happening around us? Are we just sitting back and say that, okay, 
we know that these things are going to happen. We know that we have studied the prophecies and the Bible says that these things are happening. But here it is saying that as God's people, we should be crying and sighing for the abomination of the things that are happening. Because when these things started to happen, then we know that the judgment is upon the land. And he said to them in verse 5, and to the, to the others, he said, on, he said, unto the others, he said, in mine ears, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your high spear, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, women, but come not near any man upon whom in the, is the mark and begin in my sanctuary, then they begin at the they begin at the ancient men which were before the, the house. And he said unto them, defile the house, fill the courts with, with flame, go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. And it come to pass while they were slain them. And I was left that I fell upon my face and cried and said, O Lord God, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel to die, to turn out of thy fury upon Jerusalem. Here it is saying that they should go to, and then after the, the man with the ink corner has make a mark, then the slot, the man with the weapon to go to. And slot every single person who hasn't had my virgin and friends. It is a serious time that we are living in. The man with the writers in corn is going through and making a mark upon those who are, who are, who are sighing and crying over the, 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 the things that are happening in our society. This morning on a hack scene that we hear in the, in the Huntstown district of churches, we cannot sit back and look and enjoy the, the bliss of this world and enjoy what is going on and said, oh, God is soon to come. But we should get down on our knees and suck up and hush it, weep over the atrocity and the things that are taking place in our society today. That when the man with the writers in con coming through, he can see that we are not with the things that are happening. We are sighing and crying over the, the abominable things that are happening. He also said that we should start in the sanctuary, which is very sad. Start at the sanctuary because that's where many of these things are happening. He said we should go through and slay the whole, the young, the maiden, the woman, the children. Judgment is upon us now. It is time now for us to sigh and cry over the abominable things. It is not business as usual. Today, as the, as the unstone district of churches with a vibrant pastor has come with fire in his belly, to, this, to, to, to burn down the camp of the devil. We ask that we all will join in to make this a reality. We will go through the camp of, of the devil and we'll tear it down and build up the temple of Jesus Christ. This morning, my brethren and friends, let us ask for the whole pouring of the Holy Spirit upon our hearts that we can go through and spread the gospel as how it ought to spread. 
Help us that we can live according to your will. As the call has gone out, let us humble ourselves. Let us sigh and cry that the man with the ink, with it, writer's ink on, can place a mark upon our forehead that when the the slaughtering men pass through, we will pass over us and we will be saved. And as it is said in, in, in Ezekiel chapter 33, it is said, if you set a man as a watch and he sees the danger and does not warn the nation and they die in their sin, then the blood is upon our shoulder. Today, my brethren and friends, we have a duty to perform. We have been set as a, as a watchman and we need to tell of the danger that is ahead of us. We need to, to, to go out and spread the gospel that, they, that the world might not die in their sins. Because if that should happen, then we are in serious trouble. The blood of those who die in their sin, their blood will up on their shoulders. And we don't want this. We need to do whatever the Lord has placed upon us to do. And so as we go through this time, we ask that the Holy Spirit will lead and direct and we'll move forward in the name of Prince Emmanuel, that whatever is said and done will bring honor and glory unto the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to say thanks. As we listen to these words, let us go forth. Let us move forward to present this gospel to a dying world. That when Jesus burst the cloud of heaven, we all will go home rejoicing with him. This is my prayer and my determination to go forth in Jesus' name, we pray. Let us just bow ahead. Father in heaven, we say thanks to you for your words. We say thanks, Lord, for your, your message that have given on to us this morning. Help us to go forward and to make disciples for you. Thank you for hearing us and thank you for answering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Peter, for that charge, rallying the troop together to go out and to sound the trumpet to give the trumpet a certain sound because there are souls that are in danger and we as God's church we have a mighty work to do which is to call men and women out of darkness into his marvelous light we thank you we thank you for that timely reminder at this time we are given the privilege one more time to talk to God, to make our request known unto him. And so you have those requests. I invite you to type them in the chat. And separate apart from that, we are about to break out in our um, breakout rooms where we are able to talk with God in our little group. So while you are in, your breakout room, and interacting with your brethren, you are invited to, to make your request known at that time. So shall we, at this time, go into our breakout room? As we pray.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let me hope that you have been blessed since we have started, and more so since we have started this journey 30 days ago. As we come this morning, we are going to pray. We're going to ask us to pray on behalf of each other. Today, we are focusing on family finances, and we know that there are a lot of persons here in the chat are requesting prayers to find jobs or better jobs so that they can be comfortable. So as we pray this morning, let us remember them. We have prayer for health. We have prayer for conversion. Request is also there for wayward children, our neighbors, our families, immediate and church family. Persons are asking prayer for healing and for spiritual strength. So as we pray this morning, let us place them before the Lord. Heavenly Father, this morning, we just want to give you thanks one more time for your love, for your goodness and your mercies. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity where we can come to call upon you. Lord, as we petition your throne this morning, we don't even know what to ask for. We don't know how to pray, but we are saying our feeble words and we ask, Lord, that you'll fix it up and grant us the request, the desires as you see this. Be with each participant here this morning this name but as we come we have different challenges but we know that you are a great god you are the problem solver you are the great provider you are the great physician and so we just call upon you now and ask that you'll hear and that you'll answer and be with us as we go through today may our lives be ordered by you may we be a blessing to someone thank you for hearing thank you for answering in jesus name we pray amen are there any special requests that anybody here wants to make this morning? If not, we will go ahead and we will pray. Let us keep the conversation going. Let's open your mic. Okay, yes, Sister Walker, go ahead. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning for waking us up. We want to thank you for life. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. We come now before you, Lord, to petition on behalf of all those who are on YouTube, Facebook, and also Zoom, and even in this prayer room. We just give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. Because you are God and there is none like you. You are worthy of our praise. We just thank you, Lord, this morning. Father, you, you see our needs. You know our needs because you are omnipotent. Some of them are, were unsaid, but you can read the intents of our hearts. So we ask, Lord, that this morning, pray for the families, family finances, family healing, family restoration family blessings, and those of us who might be in any circumstances, Lord, that we're not, that may be stormy or may, or may be conflicting or whatever it may be, Lord. We just put ourselves into your hands now, Lord, and ask that you take full control. As we go to our daily tasks today, Lord, we ask that you may go before us and make a way because you're a way maker. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us and all that you will do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Go ahead, Pastor. Loving Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise for your much love towards us. We thank you so much for the peace that passes our understanding. We ask to bless all of us in this prayer room this morning. We ask that you will supply all our needs according to your excellent glory. We ask that you will bless our family finances. We know there are persons who are in need of jobs. We know also that there are those who might be self-employed, but at the same time, it's not enough to take care of the family needs. And sometimes it's just hand to mouth and it is creating challenges. But 
we still give thanks because you are the provider, you are the sustainer, you are the deliverer, and you will always provide. And we ask that you will help each one to know that you are also the way maker. So we place ourselves totally in your hands, in your care, knowing that help us also to realize that in all our ways, we should acknowledge you and you will direct our path. Help us to love you, to serve you and to be faithful. Thanks again for what you will do for us and what you have been doing. And keep us, guide us and deliver us as we look to you with thanksgiving in spite of the challenges in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next person, go ahead. Ms. Pastor, go ahead. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity we have this morning to speak to you, especially on behalf of the family. We thank you, O oh God, that you have given us our families, wives, husbands, children. We give wholehearted thankfulness for them. And we pray your blessing upon every family this morning in Northeast Jamaica Conference, and more so those who are in this chat. We pray for the family finances. You see and you know the challenges that the family faces from time to time. But we still believe that the silver belongs to you, the gold belongs to you, and the cattle upon a thousand hills belong to you. And so we pray this morning in a very special way that you will relate to some family in need of finance, wherever they are, you know. We pray that you will bless this family wherever they are and grant them reprieve in the name of Jesus. We pray for other family relational issues you see and you know the challenges, oh God. We are so happy that we can leave them into your hands. And so we ask that you'll take charge and have your way to the glory of your name and for the benefit of our families. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Next person. Let's keep the conversation going. And we do magnify your name. We thank you, Lord, for taking us up as families, scolded us in our rightful mind. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We magnify your name and we thank you for all that you have been doing for the families. We pray this morning because we know you love us, Lord, and you were the one who first loved us, and so we love you too. We pray that you will continue to bless the family. We pray that you will continue to be back every dark cloud from around the family so that the families will continue to look to you, to worship you, because there is none like unto you. And you promise that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord, Lift up the standard against the enemy. And so we give you praise this morning. We magnify and glorify your name. And we pray that you will help each family that they will continue to trust in you. Because you are the one who supplies their needs. You are the one who heals the family. You are the one, Lord, who bring the family's finances so that, Lord, they can be able to do the things that they want to do, each and every one. Be with us this morning. May your face, cause your face to shine upon every family and be gracious unto us. May you lift up the light of your countenance upon us, Lord, single families, all the different families this morning. And we pray in the siblings' family. 
Continue to have you on divine way. Thank you this morning for all that you have been doing. And we praise you for what you are about to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Keep it going. Somebody open your mic and pray. All right, Sister Thor. Loving Lord. Oh, go ahead, Brother Thor. This Pastor. Morning, we want to tell you good morning. For we are happy for the privilege of being alive. We are thankful for being able to join this morning, this 30 days of prayer. And we are thanking you for all the requests. We are thanking you for, for healing the family. We are thanking you, Lord, for restoring the the financial bank of the family. We are thanking you for providing jobs for the jobless and better ones for those who have already but are seeking better. We thank you, Lord, for rebuilding the family altar. We are thanking you, Father, for the victories that we have already won and are, are going to win through you. We are saying to you this morning, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Keep the conversation going. God is listening. He wants to hear from us. Let's pray. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, we celebrate your goodness towards us. We celebrate, Lord, your faithfulness to us. We, we magnify your name this morning, Lord. And so, Lord, please, the request of the individuals who are on Zoom this morning, Lord, who have placed their on YouTube, who have placed their several requests for cousins and children, grandchildren and siblings. We ask, Lord, that you will, you will look down on them and you will answer their prayers. We know, Lord, that you have already put a plan in place. And so, Lord, we just want to say thank you for answering these prayers. Thank you for coming through for your people once more. Thank you for, for the, the breakthroughs that you will give to these families. Some Lord have, have placed in the chat that they need financial breakthrough and we claim that in your name. We, there, there are some Lord who have put in the chat that there are families who are sick and Lord, we, we know that you are the bar in Gideon. And so, Lord, have, your, have mercy on these individuals, we beg thee. Lord, when time on earth shall be no more, may it be that they will, will be able to see your face. They will be able to see your son coming through the eastern sky. So, Lord, those who have not made their decisions for you, may it be that your Holy Spirit will tabernacle in their hearts until they make that decision for you. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for answering our prayers. We pray in your son's wonderful and the most holy name. Amen. 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 One more person, please. Loving Father, who art in heaven, we pause, dear God, to just thank you for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We want to thank you, dear Lord, for these 30 days of prayer initiative. We are asking you, dear God, that you will be with our conference, that you will be with the leaders. We pray that you will be with the individual churches, dear God. And as we 
continue to remain constant in prayer. May we not just keep our prayers and our testimonies to ourselves, but we will go out into the communities and that we will invite others to come and to taste and see that you are a good God. Merciful Father, so you to bless us today and grant us your peace now and always. As we wait upon you, dear God, to give us the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Bless us, we pray in your son's name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless and keep you all. Let us continue the conversation today. God is listening. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We serve a Praise mighty God. God. We serve a, a liberator. We serve uh, a God who is a warrior. And, and, and there are many spiritual battles that we are fighting. And, and the battle is not ours. The battle belongs to God. And so the financial battle, we just want to take it to God. It's not ours. The, the, the spiritual battle, we just want to take it to God. The, 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 the battle with sickness, battle with family problems, whatever the battles Ah, we are going to take it to God and we are going to leave it there. He is the warrior. He is the one fighting for us this morning. And I hope and trust that somebody will just believe that and claim the victory. Whatever you would have prayed for this morning, you just claim the victory. Knowing that the God whom you are praying to is able to deliver and come through for you this morning. And so, and so, we are at the time where somebody... We'll be given the opportunity to share with God's people the goodness of God. The goodness of God. It is said that if you do not have a test, you do not have a testimony. And so Sister J. Davis is here this morning to share that testimony with her brethren so that we too can be encouraged knowing that God is still on the job. Sister Davis, over to you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning again, my sister. All right. I'm here to share my testimony. But there's a lot, you know, because the very fact that we wake up in the morning, greatest blessing and testimony. All right, just short and spicy, I think. I remember in last year, I was, I get, I applied at the Portmore Hospital, right? And I say, um, I said to myself, after finish school, I said to myself, say, God, I know you had something in store for me. And I said, I know you have a position at the Portmore Hospital. That is what I was saying to myself. I remember giving the testimony at church without a doubt, because I've never doubt God. Even when we are not, when I'm not perfect, I've never doubt God. And I testify in church and I said to God, say, um, God, I know you have something in store. And I know before the end of October, I am going to be at the hospital. And I dare and I pray and I wait and I got a call that, I got a call on the 6th of October from the Portmore Hospital to come and work. I said, all right, and I go there. After the six months was up, I said to myself, God, you're still not done with me. I know you have something. That's when a contract was up, that when COVID was up. And I said, I know you have something else in store for me. And I was a second for that because I know how big my God is. I know how awesome. So, I wasn't worrying about anything. And I just said to myself again, and I went to church and I said, God, I have something in store again for me. And when I was at home, I waited, I waited, and it was almost one month. And I said, God, 
give me a job just to provide enough lunch money for my son until you're ready for me back at the hospital. And I was talking and I went to do a part-time teaching for three months. And at the end of the three months, I said, God, this is it now. It is your time now. And on the last day of work, I remember I got a call to say, when you're ready to come back to work. And I was just jumping because when they called me, I couldn't say no, but I was jumping and I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know you'd have worked out something for me. And I went there and I do what I have to do and I go back to work. And contract, you know that you get staff. It takes a while before you get staff. And I was there and I was there and it was one year now since I was working. And I said to myself, God, I know you have something great in store for me because I just can't doubt him because he is just moving, moving and he's planting my feet and I grow and I, I just know that something big was in store and I was claiming it. I was saying, Jesus, this is a year. This is a year for me. And I remember six of us that day a year before I was there. How many years and I, I in one year and I was saying and the government sent on my name on the list to say I was appointed. So I was on a contract anymore. I was on a contract anymore because God God promoted me and I I just I was I just I was so happy. And I was thanking him and I was saying to co-worker, this could be but God. Everybody was wondering why am I here, the youngest, and yet still I was appointed. But I take my appointment, I move, because when I felt disappointed, I know that God appointed me to something greater. And I and I did a doubt him, you know, I did a doubt him, I was going up and each time he yeah, I go to church and I say, see, I tell you, no, I was doubting God. I don't doubt God at all for nothing. I just believe and I trusted him. Even when I was messed up and I lead astray at time, I trust God because I said, God, I know you love me unconditionally. I know you love me differently. But God, if anything that is in me that is not of you, take it out and help me to live a life that is pleasing to you here. So God sent me there for a purpose. I was having the opportunity to witness to people, have the opportunity to tell them about God. I have a lot of opportunities. So when God put me there, he had something, he know that he was putting me up to something that he wanted to accomplish. And I give God thanks. I give God thanks because when I said I could look, I would say I could have died. I mean, say God, could, I could have been six feet down, but I'm six feet up. And I said, praise Amen. be to God. I said, praise be to God because I'm a witness. I'm a testimony. And I say, despite the devil want to kill me, despite he don't want to use me, but I held on to Jesus. And then and I surrendered totally all to him. And I said, I was just moving up and I was just moving up. I mean, I say, even though I live in a Christian life, it's a mighty long road. It is hard. It is challenging. But if you hold on to Jesus, I'm telling you, you will never feel. You have never feel. I just have to say the word. And God is just answer it. I said, when you live for God, it's a make a difference. Even though we face our challenges and our circumstances. Because none of us is perfect, but all of us is striving for perfection. I give God thanks every day and each and every day. And even this morning, when I was so tired and I said, Jesus, I can't manage to do the testimony. He said, the spirit said, have I ever said no to you? I've never tell you no. So I will say, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give my testimony without a doubt that you will be able to show somebody that you're still the God of yesterday, today, and forever. That is my testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, my sister. Amen. 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 Wonderful. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Davis, for that testimony. But when when God is well, God is yeah. good. And God come through for you. You are excited to share the goodness of God. And the soul is crying out, hallelujah. We, we want to say thanks to all those who are out this morning. And I'm sure that you were blessed. I'm sure that you have been refreshed, re-energized, and revitalized. And as you go through today, let nobody steal your joy. God is so good. 
And the devil will want to steal your joy today. The devil is going to come your way, but let him know that he is a defeated foe. He is a loser, and the battle is already won. May the Lord bless you today. May he keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you and give you peace. Please do have a wonderful and a productive and a joyful day. At this time, Pastor Dixon will take us out in prayer. Shall we pray? Let us pray. Father, your words have declared and the preacher have shared that if the watchman see it, the sword coming and blow it not the trumpet and the people be not warned. And if they are taken away in their sins, then their blood will be on our shoulders. So even now, Father, as we embark on the new day, as we go out there today, we pray, God, that we will tune our trumpets and we'll get ready to blow and give the warning that there is no God like our God, that we will give the warning that in a dying world that there is still a Jesus, that we'll give the warning that as Christians that there is no dark room that we alone can be in because our God has promised us that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So as we go today, Father, we pray that you'll go before us. Go behind us, stand above us and beneath us so that we will sur be surrounded by your presence, by your love. Thank you again for what you have done. Thank you for what you have done through your daughter, Lady Davis, that has reminded us, God, that if we put our hands in your hands, you will continue to provide for us. Bless and keep now, I ask. And as we close today, I say, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in our sight, O Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. Amen. 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 Just a time reminder, Pastor, before we go, that tomorrow we will not be here. Amen. But we'll be praying in our churches. We'll be presenting to God our unconverted spouses and ask God to do our work in them and upon them. God bless you. And just one reminder also, Pastor. That there is no town like Unstown. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 All right. God bless. Thank you, Unstown. Okay.